Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Series 1 blind bag figures. Yes, you would be correct, Spot's already had a look at these and got so excited when we opened up the last set of bags, I went back and picked up another five. So we're going to open these up together and find out which ones we got inside. If memory serves me, last time we got Leonardo, a foot soldier, a Krang, Shredder, though the torso wasn't quite 100%. And uh, we also got ourselves another foot soldier. So let's see how we do with this again. Feelsies test. I should have actually feel these a little, felt these a little bit better because I think I didn't get any turtles. And these are one of those giveaways where you can really, oh, maybe this one is. Maybe this one is. You can feel the bag and the ones that feel a little bit thicker turns out to be the turtles. So like this one's a lot thinner than this one here. So we'll see how well that theory goes. And hopefully we can collect at least, I want to get at least all the turtles. I don't know, I could get probably get a couple of foot soldiers. I would be okay with that. Wondering what the mystery figure is. I'm sure, it's, I think it's probably like Casey Jones. But yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll see. We will see. Let's grab Hank. I'm going to grab Hank for this review. And let's open these up. Before we find out what turtle we got inside. Don't worry, Spot's not going to look at these for every single... Why, Spot, why do you look at this for every bag? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to open up only the first one. And I'll show you what turtles we have inside. So we have Shredder, again, mystery figure, a Krang, a foot soldier, and the four brothers. Alright, so we'll put those to the side. Or put that one to the side. And let's find out which we got... Well, we got ourselves yet another foot soldier. And I want to make sure I've got all the stuff outside of the bag because there is a piece that I mentioned to you before. Where's the piece? Right there. There. You don't want to lose that. Oh, no, you don't, Jeremy. You lose that. You're going to be in a world of hurt. So what we want to do is take that little piece. I don't know why that piece... I mentioned this before. And, oh my god, did I just... Oh, did I just drop it? Oh, but no, I didn't. No, I didn't. What I was going to say is, I don't know why Mega Bloks didn't just give us the piece looking like this, instead of having it two separate. Holding the torso very carefully, I'm going to slide the... I'm going to slide the ball joint in between. Then I'm going to take the torso of the foot soldier. I'm going to peg that into place. And I never get these, I never get the ball joints in properly. There we go. Let's see if that works. Hmm. I wonder if I actually put this on the wrong way. I might have actually put it on the wrong way, everybody. Look at Spot, I put it on the wrong way. Let's tr flip it around. Talk amongst yourselves while I quickly just put this together. Love these figures, just not crazy of all the things on it. I'm not crazy about this torso, lower torso piece. It's unpleasant. Let me just tell you that. It is unpleasant. Ugh. See, that's the problem right there. It's this, it's this little thin skinny piece because it keeps moving on me. Ah, there we go, let's pop this out again. Flip it around. Okay, now I got it. You see that? That's what I want. That's what I want. And we'll tab that. Ah, just tap this into place. I'm gonna say, as soon as you push it into the torso, it pushes this back out. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the legs on now. And put the other legs on. This now gives me three foot soldiers. I wish they were the classic foot soldiers, but still. So we got a foot soldier. 
Let's go ahead and put the katana into his hand like that. Give him the display stand. I don't know why I would do that, but there's the foot soldier. All right, let's go to a chunky bag. See if we actually get ourselves a turtle. And it looks like we did. And we also got ourselves Michelangelo, which is not one I have. You know what, maybe I should bring the camera down. That probably makes more sense, doesn't it? And let's go ahead and pop the legs on. Or do I have to put this on first? I think I might actually have to put this on first. This is his belt that's gonna hold his nunchucks. Okay, put that on. They're fidgety little things, aren't they? All right, so now we can put the legs on. Mikey is like this weird sh neon sheen, neon color. And put the legs on. There we go. Spot just dropped something, bear with me. Okay, so let's put the head on, which is devoid. Is he, is he missing? Oh, whew. I was going to say, is he missing eyeballs? No, he's not. The eyeballs are actually on his headband. There we go. That looks strange. Do I have that upside down? No, apparently I don't. Okay. Let's put the headband back on now that we know it's supposed to look strange. You have to get it over top of his... He's got these molded in eyeballs pupils but they're not painted so it's like why would they even put that there if you have to put the the bandana over top of it Does that make any sense anybody hello bueller bueller Ugh. see see the problem right there why didn't they just make that smooth so instead i have to now struggle to get that over the and it's not like it's rubber either it's not like it's the it's not like it's the classic turtles. These ones I have to fight over. Well, you know, that's that's what I'm going to get right now. Not happy with that at all. Ugh. Well, it's, it's going to have to do for the time being. Michelangelo also comes with a slice of pizza. Pizza time. Which I guess we can just kind of put in his hand. And he only comes with one nunchuck which we can have either in his hand or you can also put it on his back as well. Just adjust his belt a little bit. It looks like he's covered in pizza sauce. That's not good, Mikey. It's not good. Really not happy though that I have to get this bandana over. Like again, why they just didn't make the forehead or the area with his eyes, why did they sculpt that to only have to put the, the bandana over top of it? I just... This makes no sense to me. Anyways, we're going to peg the turtle in onto his display stand. And now we have Michelangelo. Okay, so let's bring the camera up a little bit. Let's have a look at the next bag. I'm going to be honest here. These are kind of a mixed bag. Literally, they really are a mixed bag because you never know what you're going to get inside. But quality on these... Some of them are a little bit better than others, I have to I have to admit. Okay, so we got Shredder, and luckily this time around we got the right piece. Thank goodness for that. Oh, maybe I should worry about the tor oh, it's this see like Shredder it's got it going because at least you don't have to worry about getting You don't have to get all that disastrous stuff in place. Or does he? No, I think he does. I forgot he does. Oh boy. Okay, so this fits inside. Seriously, Mega Blocks. Like, I love your figures, but I really don't like the building that's required here. They're, it, it, they're not enjoyable builds. And we gotta get the ball joint in there as well. 
it's this it's this torso piece I don't I do not enjoy doing I would pay somebody just to do this part for me I really would I wouldn't pay you much but I would pay somebody just to do that for me just call it a day and just yeah you know, if you could just do that for me that would be fine that would be swell Okay, I think I got it. No, Shredder's torso ball joints are still... Ah! Ah! There we go. I think I got that. Almost there. There we go. What a pain in the butt. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add the legs. Leg number one. Pros and cons to these blind bags, or these turtle figures as a whole. Pros, they're superposable. I'll give you that. Cons, the building of these is insane. And let's put on the torso piece for Shredder. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the building part of it. If they could just streamline the building where at least like I'm I'm on board I am on board let me build something let me make make me feel like I'm actually accomplishing something in life but have this as the as a complete piece don't give me like three or four pieces and then I gotta put it together I I feel humiliated every single time <laughs> I've had to put these figures together all right, at least we've got a, a working shredder this time. It's not like shredder from before. Get his other blade on there. See, I would hate to, I don't want to name drop other minifigures, but other minifigures you can enjoy them because there's a lot less building or it's required. Don't get me wrong, that shredder looks awesome. But this right here is just, it's just a disaster to try to put those together. Anyways, we've still got Cherry Berry Shredder. That's not his name, but we've got Shredder. Good level of posability. They don't have the elbow posability like the classic turtles have, but at least they have knee articulation. And at least we've got a shredder this time that's complete. We didn't get two torso pieces. So there you have shredder. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, let's put him to the side. The next bag, bag number four, if you will, we have ourselves another foot soldier to which I don't think Spot's actually gonna build. I'm just gonna put the pieces right to the side. I will build him that I will get myself a foot soldier, but not right now. I'm moving on to this bag, which is also a very chunky bag. And I'm hoping this one is gonna be another turtle. It appears that we've got Raphael. And again, just a little bit of assembly that's required. Okay, so like, here we go. Mega blocks, please. You're killing me. You're killing me here. You see how the eyes are sculpted? And my guess is maybe they did that so that they could use these for the class, not even really the classic turtles because they don't use the same face. But it's almost as if they originally had planned for the headbands to have holes in their eyes so that it would fit over top of this. But instead, this is a hard plastic. This is me trying to get the plastic over top of the, the eyes. And it because there's not enough give on the headband, I'm struggling to get it over top of those eyes. You see right there? Mega blocks. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. Not really killing me, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish where we started here. Raph also is missing his arm, so we'll just pick that into place. Okay. Put the belt on. I like the back, how it says Mikey. I like that. That's a nice touch. And put the legs on. Like, at least the, at least the brothers, the actual turtles, 
You don't have to put on all this ridiculous stuff with the, the lower torso. The waist and everything else is done. It's already put together. Yeah, you know what? I don't mind putting on the head. I don't mind putting on the arms. The bandana, on the other hand, is ridiculous. Ugh, there we go. Like, I guess you could... You just manipulate it a little bit more. You could probably get the bandana completely on, but i got the same problem as Mikey. Look, I can't get it over top of those sculpted eyes. Like, if they had left those eyes off, that's just what's preventing these headbands from properly going on them. It does come a couple of size, a pair of size, and another sigh. There we go. Give him his display stand. Okay. And we also have this. This looks like it's some sort of drink, maybe? Not quite sure what that is. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Okay, so revisiting what we got in this box, or these bags, we got a Raphael, a Mikey, two foot soldiers, and Jelly Belly uh, Shredder. Do I like these sets? I do. Big strike, however, though, is these lower waist pieces. Uh, but I did manage at least to get it on there. The other foot soldier I will put together. Don't worry. Don't worry yourselves. Today's collectible spot. Spot was resuming his look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Series 1 blind bag figures. And I picked up another five. And uh, I did pretty good. At least I got two brothers, two turtles that I didn't get before. But those bandanas are disastrous. Oh, sigh. Stay tuned, guys. Spots can have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>